up guys how are you doing hope you're enjoying the events um having fun hope you guys are having fun if uh, if you have any suggestions write a comment below whatever it's for fight or things that i do think i can do better or switch or arrange go for it write whatever you want your freedom of speech is allowed in my comments so go for it do uh, say whatever you want in terms of the content or ideas or whatever you want go for it it's all yours i'm here to entertain and enjoy no matter what all right here are the upcoming events for ufc starting conor mcgregor versus daniel uh, versus uh, dustin poirier so we're gonna go to the event this event mcgregor poirier will be in las vegas nevada and a UFC in USA MGM Grand. Here we go. Main event will be a lightweight showdown contender fight between the notorious Conor McGregor, who returns against Nemesis, the Diamond, Dustin Poirier. Big, big main event fight. Then, on our co-main event, a featherweight fight, Alexander Volkanovsky will battle Brian Ortega, also nemesis. That's going to be an interesting featherweight contender fight. Then we turn into the woman. The big bad, Chris Cyborg Santos, takes on Caitlin Shuk again in a fight that has title contender contention. This will be a war not to miss. We go again to the featherweight division. Former featherweight champion of the world, Jose Aldo will take on worthy challenger Cody Sandhagen. Then we turn into another featherweight contender fight. This is one we want to see live in real person. Well, I'm giving it to I'm giving it to you in a game. Sean O'Malley, the one of a kind, Sean O'Malley takes on former featherweight champion of the world, Cody Garbrandt. This is a must-see fight. Then Former welterweight champion of the world, Johnny Big Rig Hendricks takes on Michael Chiesa in an interesting fight. Maybe one of the two a win here brings up the ladder. You never know what can happen in the UFC. And the fight, the UFC event will open up in a lightweight showdown, and I can wait. Anthony Showtime Perez, former UFC lightweight champion, takes on worthy. Up and coming contender Islam Makashev from Dagestan, Russia. Makashev versus Anthony Perez in the Conor McGregor Poirier event UFC 6. Then we're jumping to UFC 7, the main event rematch John Bone Jones, Alexander Gustafson, live from Houston, Texas. In the Toyota Center. Yes, I just said it. John Jones will take on Alexander Gustafsson in a light heavyweight main event. Co-main event. Yes, Texas' is own. Derek the Black Beast Lewis will take on former UFC light heavyweight champion, uh, heavyweight champion Stipe Miocic. This is going to be a sick co-main event. Can't wait for that. Then we've got a lightweight war. Contender fight, Justin Gaethje versus Michael Chandler. This is going to be wild. That fight will be incredible. Then we go to a featherweight showdown. This is also a, an excellent fight we can miss. Former UFC champion Henry Cejudo returns to the octagon against Dominic Cruz. Also former featherweight champion of the world or bantamweight champion of the world. He returns to the octagon. This is going to be a no-miss fight. It's going to go down at UFC 7. Then we turn into the welterweight as Bren, uh, not Bren Burns. Uh, Tom, uh, sorry, Burns from uh, Gilbert Burns. Sorry, Gilbert Burns. <laughs> not Bren Burns from the NHL, but Gilbert Burns will fight against former title contender Stephen Thompson. In a very wealthy welterweight match. The winner, another contender fight, eliminator fight. So this is going to be interesting. Then, 
at the women's. This is going to be good. Caitlin Vieira gets a shot at the former UFC women's champion Holly Holm. This will be a fight to not miss. Another contender fight. So it's a match to watch. And we will start the event with Benel Dariush, who will take on Daniel Hooker in our starting fight here. Jones Gustafson, Houston, Texas, in the Toyota Center main event. Then UFC 8, the return of the Ronda Rowdy Rousey. This will be incredible against former champion Johanna Yurdechek. What a card this is going to be. And yes, Rousey Yurdechek will be in New York City, New York, USA, in the Big Apple, Madison Square Garden main event. Ronda Rousey, Joanna Yurdechek in a showdown of ages. Then in our co-main event, the return of another WWE star, superstar, megastar, former UFC heavyweight champion, Brock Lesnar, returns to face a man that beat him. So unfinished business, former UFC heavyweight champion, Kane Velasquez in our co-main event. Then, the return of Nick Diaz. The talk is over. Here we go. He will take on a worthy, similar style gangster. Fight anywhere, anytime, and any place. Hamzat Shimaev from Sweden. So Nick Diaz, Hamzat Shimaev. This will go down in MSG. What a fight this is going to be. Then we turn into the middleweight division. A eliminator, contender elimination match. So this is going to be interesting. Joel Romero from Cuba will take on former UFC middleweight champion Luke Rocco. This will be an excellent fight. Then, the second brother, Nate the Great Diaz, enters the octagon to face Cowboy Donald Cerrone in a lightweight matchup. This is going to be great. Two Diaz brothers. This will be insane. And our first fight of the evening. Yes, it is. Former UFC champion TJ Dillashaw takes on former also UFC champion Brendan Moreno in our opening bout. Imagine that. Look at this stellar card for MSG. Hamza Chimaev, Nick Diaz, Nick, Nick Diaz Brock Lesnar, Kane Velasquez, Ronda Rousey, Yurnachek, Madison Square Garden. Then we go to UFC 9. Bisping Whiteman live from the O2 Arena in London, England. So Bisping Whiteman in the London, England O2 Arena. So here we have our middleweight showdown. Michael the Count Bisping and Chris Whiteman will face off in a middleweight showdown. And that's when we're waiting for the coming event. Yes, it is Tyson Fury. But who will he face? And it's against Ben Rafa. Tyson Fury makes his UFC Octagon debut against veteran Ben Rafa. How will the Gypsy King fear in a UFC Octagon? But there's another British boxer that's making his debut. Anthony AJ Joshua will also make his UFC Octagon debut against also veteran Todd Duffy. Two Brits. Two champions in the boxing world mix it up in the octagon. Then, a light heavyweight showdown we want to see. Yiri Prozhashka. Sick, very unorthodox style from the, from the Czech Republic. Takes on from Brazil, the powerhouse. Tor, Thiago Santos. He's got power. This is going to be a very, very very interesting fight then we go here to a featherweight bout former champion Demetrius Johnson takes on worthy contender Askar Askarov from Russia this will be an interesting fight then from England Darren Till looking to go back on track in a win streak he will take on Kevin Holland from the United States and to start our event another Brit Arnold Allen I used to, we used to train together in TriStar. He used to be there, very nice guy. I'm happy he's doing well in real life. 
in health and in the UFC. I wish him much, much success. He deserves it. He's a hard worker. And I'm happy I got to meet him. He's going to face Josh Emmett from the United States. So look at his stellar card here. Live from the London, England, EO2 Arena. Fury, Joshua, same card with Michael Bisping. And this is going to be our UFC 10 event that we will produce in Ganu Overeem. A lot of contention here. So in Ganu Overeem, last from Las Vegas, Nevada, in Amage MGM Grand. So here we go. The main event, Francis in Ganu, the powerhouse, probably the strongest punch in UFC history, takes on worthy veteran, former kickboxing champion, and dream champion, Alistair the Reem Overheem. The winner of this match, winner of this fight, will fight for the UFC Heavyweight Championship against the winner of the co-main event, which is former UFC light heavyweight and heavyweight champion, DC Daniel Cormier and UFC contender from France Cyril Gann. This will be excellent. So the winner of Overheem and Nganu takes on Cormier and Gain for the well, for the heavyweight strap in the UFC. Then featherweight matchup. This is similar to Drago and Rocky. Here's from Russia Peter Yan, Russian. Uh, Cannon, he, he's a monster. He is high level. So his name is Peter the Machine Yan, but he's going to face up against former WEC champion, the California kid, Uriah Faber. So Russia, USA in a UFC is always great. And this is going to be one of my fights. I want to see. Can't wait for it to happen. Then... Some good fights in the women's uh, division. On a win streak, Lauren Murphy takes on the returning as Misha Cupcake Tate returned to the Octagon a few weeks ago with a vicious knockout of Besh Correra, the Brazilian. And this is a fight that a winner could be in the mix of a top four. So an interesting fight in the women's division between Murphy and Tate. And then in the welterweight division, Tyron, the chosen one, Woodley, after an absolute incredible performance and a knockout, he will face Ben Askren, where Ben Askren was impressive in submitting former champion Robbie Lawler in the first round. So this is a match that's going to be a mix of power and wrestling. This is going to be good, man. In the light heavyweight division, two contenders who are for real. Corey Anderson, who demolished Anthony Rumble Johnson in his fight, takes on a very serious opponent. Volkan always the mirror. This is going to be a good light heavyweight tilt. Again, top four contender fight. Then the opening fight, this is going to get real. They fought each other. Former UFC lightweight champion, Eddie Alvarez takes on former lightweight champion, Rafael Dos Anjos. If I remember well, Alvarez took the belt from Dos Anjos. So, rematch. This is going to open this card. Las Vegas, a lot of contenders fight. And Ganu Overeem takes on the winner of Cormier Gain for the UFC heavyweight championship. And again, Peter Yan and Faber, winner, most probably gets a featherweight crack. Same as Murphy and Tate. Hope you enjoyed upcoming fights that will happen soon. Fight is here. UFC is live. See you soon. Take care.